Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you know when we upload a new video. As always, I'm MJ, Product Support Manager here at JBS Equipment. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to torque the floor chain on your machine. Whether it's long link, WR78, or 88K, procedure's all the same. Let's do it. Before we get to the demonstration, let's go over torque wrenches. For example, this is a half inch torque wrench, good from 50 to 300 foot pounds. If you're looking to torque something less than that, we need a smaller torque wrench. Now, this 3 8 torque wrench has a range from 5 to 100. This will cover most of our machines. Now, also, you don't need a snap-on digital torque wrench to do this job. A simple torque wrench from Harbor Freight or Princess Auto will work just fine. Before you go ahead and torque up your floor chain, double check to make sure this threaded rod and nut here is free of debris and rust. If it's all frozen up, clean it off, spray it down with a penetrating lubricant, fluid film works great, and work it back and forth until it's nice and free. Because if you don't, it will be an inaccurate torque reading. It'll probably click right away. It's not what we want. All right, let's show you how to do this. Located on the front of your machine, at least when it was new, is a sticker that tells you how much to torque the floor chain to. If you can't find this, check your owner's manual. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video, we're gonna put up a little chart with most machines and what the floor chain gets torqued to. Also, over the years, the size of this nut has changed between inch and a sixteenth or inch and an eighth. This particular one uses a one and one sixteenth socket. So, I have my torque wrench here set at 45 foot-pounds. All you gotta do, stick her on there, pull down gently and slowly. This one beeps, yours may click. 45 foot-pounds. That's it. So now that your floor chain's all torqued up, go ahead and grease your idler sprockets. This particular machine has a greasable shaft and long length floor chain. If your machine has that, check out the video in the description below where I go over everything to do with maintaining your long length floor chain. Well, that concludes this episode of Tech Tuesday. Be sure to like and follow us on our social media platforms. And if you have a video idea that you'd like to see, Drop it in the comment section below.